I am Anil Kumar and we will explore area for the given figure. The question here is in the square ABCD shown where E and F are the midpoints of the sides AB and DC respectively and FG equals to GE find the ratio of the shaded area to the unshaded area. So this is a very interesting question. You can see it in many competitive exams. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then check with my solution, right? So the shaded region here is D, E, F and G. So we need to compare area of uh, D, E, G, F over the blank area, right? So rest, right? That means uh, area of square ABCD minus area of DEGF. Let's say like that, right? So that is what the real question is. So you need to compare these two areas and figure out how much it is. So I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now we're just given a general question here we need to find ratios. So dimensions are not really required. To answer this question, we need to do a bit of construction. Then the answer will be very clear. So what we can do is we can actually extend this line join with the corner, right? So if I do that, we get something like this. And then we can also extend this line and join with the other corner of the square, correct? So you get something like this. So similar type of uh, construction we will do, we'll join this midpoints here and join with the corner. So the, the midpoints of this line are being joined with the corners of the square. Now once you do that, what do you observe? You really observe that there are a couple of triangles, correct? So, so we can name these triangles. So we can say this is my triangle number one, let's say this one, then this is triangle number two, this is triangle number three. And if I count the whole thing here, it becomes triangle number four, right? This could be my triangle number five. And if I join these, then I can say, well, this is triangle number six, right? That is triangle number seven. And both these triangles combined together makes triangle number eight. So in all, what do you see? you see eight triangles right out of these triangles how many are shaded so triangle number two six and seven are shaded that means one two and three right so so we could write three on the top and the ones which are not shaded are how many so let's count them so they are one two three four and five so that is five right do we have eight in all let us check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 complete. 7 and 8. Yes, we do. So out of 8 triangles which we could form in this square, 3 are shaded and 5 are not. So find the ratio of shaded area to unshaded. So our answer is 3 over 5. Do you see that? So that is how you can get answer for this particular question. So sometimes it is very important to do a little bit of construction and look at the problem from outside to get a solution. I hope this strategy helps. Thank you and all the best.